All right. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we got this new huge line out. We're rolling. Uh, we got us a beaver sitting down here at this one. It's the seventh one of the day so far. Uh, not a very big one, but we hammered him. That's going to be hard to get him out. Out of this trap. There we go. Okay. See if he'll cooperate for us. There we go. Yeah, we got about 130 sets out and a little over that actually, and we'll see what happens today. Hoping for big check. But we only got we got four traps down here. Only caught one beaver. I'm kind of surprised by that. Get that stake in there. My lure's still on that stick there, so just trap back in here and we'll get down the road. Still chugging along here and we got our first double of the day. Uh, looks to be a really nice big beaver sitting out there. Um, kind of the only place I could really get a set in all these rocks right here. Um, it's really deep right here. But they're hammering on this big tree up there. So we're gonna have to try and get that back in there. I'm sure that'll be fun. What we got for a beaver? Oh yeah. There's a nice big one. Caught all the way up on that ankle there. Yeah, that's a nice, he's got a weird growth right there on his chest. It's kind of interesting. Monster tail. Big old beaver. Ugh. Stay. Hopefully he stays there. But uh, just set this spot yesterday, so it's pretty good to have a double here already. Oh, it's that hard clay spot here. Gotta get it jammed in there. Boy, if I face plant right now, that'd be rough. Putting that much weight on that rod. But we'll try and get our stake back in here. I know it was kind of a pain. Let's see what we can make work here. Right there. Looks like my mound got worked over pretty good too. Could be from him or the other one, but hopefully it's one I ain't got yet. My trap right back. I had it on that bed there. Wipe the beaver tracks away. I like to wipe those beaver tracks away so you can tell uh, the next time you go through if another one worked. Just a personal thing, I suppose. But a little mud mound and a nice big beaver. Put some lure on there. We will, if I can get it to go in here, we'll head over to the other one, guys. Right there. Yeah. All right, guys. We're at, on the other side of the bridge now. It's the same spot. Uh, this one just, well, I don't know. We'll see. See when I get him pulled up here. How big he is. If I can get the top stake out. Drove it in there at an angle in the rock. And here we are, having fun working it out. Let's see what we got. This mound again does not look exactly how I left it. But I'll see what we got here. Oh, he got a lot bigger. Oh, wow. Bigger than I thought. Coming by the whole back leg there. Pop him out. Please don't swim away from me. It's not a bad beaver at all. I thought it was a lot smaller. So, this baby ran. It looks like one, maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of beaver sitting down here. Let's see if we can get that rock jam back out in the rock here. get that stake back in there at that weird angle. That was about the only spot without a rock I had. Maybe. There's the rock. Okay, we'll get this in and get down the road, guys. Okay, we got us number 10 for the day here. You gotta be careful. 
Hey, beaver's got a dam in here. I actually got competition at this spot here, but we got us a beaver, so that's good. They didn't get all of them. Get this baby pulled up here. Boy, found himself plenty of grass. That is, that's marvelous. I will pull that off of there off camera. That's gonna take a minute. Got the whole back leg in there though. There we go. Nice big beaver. So we'll get this remade and get down the road. That's number 10 for the day, guys. Got us another double here. Got a beaver stuck the creek over there. Drowned and dead. Got one here too. So starting to starting to catch them pretty good. This looks like a nice beaver. Got the whole back foot. And some random wire somewhere. Nice beaver though. Nice beaver. Can't complain about that. Quite a bit of beaver sign in here. A lot of peeled sticks. I look pretty pretty doggone good. So. I don't necessarily like that. down the road guys all right i misspoke we're not going down the road yet because we got another beaver here so get this baby wow i don't know who put that in there but they put it in there way too hard got us another nice beaver here though if i can get it out of here shot himself some sticks nice Got him by the back foot there. Another nice beaver, both about the same size. Run my rod back out. There's a little deeper spot, like right here. I gotta get that rod in too. So. Oh man. There we go. Oh, a little bit from it. That ought to be fun to get out next time. Get this baby in here. Real quick. Now we'll get down the road. Nice double. Got number 20 for the day. I uh, haven't been doing a whole lot of filming. Tried to film the last spot. Uh, we talked to a guy. And I actually got permission to go up in there on that dam. So that's kind of cool. Got a beaver pulled up here. Nice two year old beaver buried in put the back foot in there. That is number 20. So really started picking up here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Get this job ran back down there. My lure's still on that stick there, too, so that's good. Need to move it a little bit further. Out there. Man, I love rocks. beaver. Nothing to complain about on that one. That trap reset here. Got some three in here I need to move. We'll be getting down the road. 
All right, guys. Now we got Iowa trapping behind the camera here. How beaver trapping? We're wearing him out on the beaver line today. <laughs> Fella. Little guy. But that's a good sign. We got a bigger one on the other one. I mean, there's probably a whole colony in here, and that would be that would be nice. I Means it's gonna be probably at least a six beaver spot as long as I don't mess up and miss some. Aspect. The other one I know need lure. Head over there. Hopefully we'll have a good wet. Yeah, it's pretty deep in here. There's no current flowing at all. You gotta have a dam somewhere. Um, but kind of next to this, I don't know if you want to call it a slide or what really is going on here. It sure looks like a slide to me. I put this caster mound in right here. It's definitely got a beaver. I can see him on there. There he is. Probably. I'm gonna say that one's bigger than that other one. Uh, no. Two kits. So, gotta be some bigger ones in here somewhere. Hopefully. That, that's what I'm hoping for. Rod ran back out to the depth. There. There we go. Another double. That puts us up to 22. Yeah, it's our fifth double. Yeah. Personal best for me on doubles in a day, too. That's pretty cool. Just need to get me a stick for lure. Plenty of uh, options for sticks down here. That's kind of rare. <laughs> Get some lure on this stick here. Maybe. Over there. We'll be getting down the road, guys. Yeah, it's pretty deep right there. Though. Yeah, it's got a nice pool. Really deep. The stick's still got lure on it. Oh, man, so that's good. Use my 40 inch fish stick here. Make sure to hold on that stuff's really loose. In there like that. Like a good beaver, bud. It does. Boy, he got some dirt on him, too. Not the biggest in the world, but there might be a dam in here, too. I'm not really sure. A lot of water in here. Not terrible. We've only had one that was extremely small today. Other than that, nothing decent. I can't believe that. Caster mound in the boulders. <laughs> Still got him. Well, good. Yeah, that's a first for me. I don't think I've ever caught a beaver in this amount of rock. Oh boy. Let's see if I can get that back in there or not. There she goes. I really don't like that sticking up like that. But there's no grass to cover it up with. So. Yeah, you don't, you don't have a choice here. We're just rolling with it. Try and get it to lock back in those rocks. Okay, I'm gonna head over to the other one now. you told me because I can't see anything in your mud. The beaver's got this run going right through the creek. You can see the different color in the bottom. Oh yeah, you can see it. Um, I put this stick in the creek set right here, rub some big pile on it, whacked us a nice, which would be a big, big thing. I think that's a good one. Sitting down there. Get him pulled up. 
Here, that front room. Pretty crazy. Yeah, that's a big one. Perfect catch on that guy there too. Let's see if we can get him out of there. Six double, bud. Yeah, six double today. This puts us up to 24. 24. For the day, still got a ways to go. That is, that's a nicer beaver there. Big old tail on him too. But it's, it's really shallow in here. Other than this deep, deep hole right here and the deep hole over there. But there's beavers in it, obviously. This baby ran back into the boulders. That gum rock. See if we can get it. There it is. If you hammer them into the rocks enough, guys, you're gonna you'll find a sweet spot eventually. So all you did here is put that peeled stick. Basically, where you think they're traveling right down the middle of the creek. Yep, it is right. Number one, because I got deep enough water here. But I'll show this set here in a second once I get this baby pounded in here. Oh, I like using these peeled sticks, anything bright. But you can see I got a little bit of lure right here, about, I don't know, 10 or 12 inches off the surface of the water. Um, just enough to get that beaver to have to put his head up and feet down. Um, and it whacked us a beaver here. I like to set my trap. I don't I don't measure, but it's probably eight or ten inches back too where the pan is. So. There guys, nice double. Alright guys, you can see we got caster mound, caster mound, caster mound. And then I I dug this little notch in this point right here. We got us a nice beaver sitting out here. So, lure's actually still on that stick. Got that bad boy on big pile there. Bring him up here, quick. Oh boy, oh boy. That looks big. That looks pretty big. It's a good one, man. Oh yeah, by the front arm there. Ooh, big old paddle tail on him too. Oh, nice beaver. Not tough. Very surprised there's only one here honest but i think my caster mount made him mad don't you think yeah those weren't dirty yeah they tore him up over here that also right there ties my personal best in the day that is number 25 so that's pretty cool got a lot of ground to go yet too and we got a long ways to go let's go <laughs> Goodness. All righty, guys. We got it. Yeah, I see him. He's laying there. I made another mound in here. This oh, will yeah. be number 26. So, personal best day for me. We still got a long ways to go. We actually have a double down here, I believe. Uh, if what I'm looking at over there is a beaver, which it should be. And we just got 25 of the last stop. Yeah. So, hopefully, they stop piling up here. Well, that's big. Oh, that's big. <laughs> oh, buddy, that's big. Yeah, back foot catch there on that one. Oh, yeah, big tail on him too. But there was this notch here. This was already here. I just threw a little bit of mud in the back of it. You want to talk about the perfect place for like a snare or something? Up here too. Yeah. Yeah, it's. It's a good spot, boys. Good. Oh. Let me get my rod a little closer. Such thick clay down there. Yep. That'll probably be about permanent. Need a little more lead in your rear end. I'm going to have to resituate myself. My lure is apparently no longer existent here. On this side. But I had this pretty deep. I mean, it's, I don't know, 10 inches deep right here. Yeah, that's pretty deep. Yeah, still got them. It's a perfect little it is. cubby. I mean, it is. Can't get any better than that. I know. It's nice. Slide this trap. Get it back in there just how I had it. Kind of worked out. There's my lure stick. Got smashed down. 
Yeah, these, these suckers here have been in here a while. Get this lured back up there. Um, I missed one over here. So we're gonna, I had three traps down here, and I think we got two out of three. I'm not sure exactly what happened. Just set off, it ain't even moved. But kind of another, just a little notch. I really thought it, I really was hoping to have a triple here, to be truthful, but that's all right. You know, I think the first notch over here for those states that have half submerged 330s or It'd something. Absolutely that, perfect. That'd be dynamite. It would be absolutely perfect. So, I'll follow you to the other side. You got the beaver? Yep. Oh. All right. Head over to the other side here. Got a minor, minor coon trail there. That is nuts. <laughs> come over here. Oh. I was gonna put a fourth one in here, but I didn't. Thinking maybe you should have. Exactly. But we got another perfect spot. Dark blob down in the depths. Another just nice existing notch here. They're already climbing out to chew on all this stuff. Um, and let's see what we got. I can see his yellow teeth down there. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Better be careful. There goes no ring. I'm gonna pass out here. I'm not careful. Want me to have a whirl? Maybe have a heat stroke with how hot it is. It's like 65. <coughs> there you go. <laughs> we got it. You guys didn't see that. Let's bring this baby on. Another big beaver. Perfect catch. Right across the back foot there. And that is 27. 27. And our seventh double? Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. It's a heck of a slide on the other side there too. Yeah, there is. Phenomenal. Great spot. Now you're telling me we get to the end of this, this is gonna be dynamite. Yeah, this stuff here, this line I'm on right now, especially this section, is like I died and went to beaver heaven. It's phenomenal. Didn't ask for much more really on a beaver line. It may turn into a coon line next year too. Who knows? <coughs> it should. Trap bedded back in there. I'm gonna relure it just so I know there's some there. Came up next to it and pushed up over there too. Yep. I don't know how many beaver are in here, but we're gonna find out. Hopefully, we get to find out. There we go, guys. Nice double. But. This spot, I'm gonna go ahead and call it Beaver Island here. It's just this little island in this creek, and I've plinked in a few caster mounds. And sure enough, that's a nice pair. Let's put that up 29. 29, man. That is, that is, as my mother would say, borderline inappropriate right there. <laughs> you wanted 30. I did. Boy, that's a nice big beaver, too. On the front arm there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Nice beaver. Oh, I can get this in for him now. You guys know I like to bury those bottoms the best I can. So, see if I can get this back in here quick. There's one thing I don't like about some of those stakes where the rebar sticks up above the washer there. Hard on gloves and hard on your hands pushing on that. But we'll get our trap set back in there. Lure still on the stick. Yep. We'll pull up number two here. Quickly. Ah, there's still lure there too. Awesome. There's, I know there's an old beaver dam upstream and if you look, I'm pretty sure that's a really old beaver dam right there, and they just haven't right. done anything with it. That's a big beaver too. Seventh? 
This is eight. Eight doubles today. Eight doubles. Oh man. So I'm gonna put you on the spot with this. Oh boy. Uh, we talked about a little bit earlier. Typically, you don't put two sets side by side close like that. Yep. Uh, what's what's the reasoning? What you're thinking on that? There's nowhere else to do it here. There's nowhere else to do it here. But I started experimenting this year. Last year and the year before, basically every year I've beat a trap. I'd always want to put two right like this, right next to each other because it's faster. It's faster for me to do it. But I've been catching, and you can testify to this today, <laughs> I've been catching a lot more doubles since I started spreading them out more. Now I'm just get them away, get them on the opposite banks from each other, anything. Get it to where that beaver can't see another dead beaver. Really seems to work out, but still got lure on there, so another double. We'll get down the road. I'll get the camera. Yeah. Yeah. What do we got going on here? We got a beaver there. We got a beaver here. Hold on. Might be my first true triple on beavers. I've been trying to catch them. I'm about to find out. Yep. And we got a beaver there. <laughs> Three, buddy. So that puts me right at 200 beaver on the year, on a triple. 32 for the day. We still got some ground to go. That's awesome, man. It is. It's time you to get to work. Up. Yeah, no, just keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. All right, we're rolling. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I'm not actually having to do anything. <laughs> Pretty big too. That's awesome. I've caught, I've caught one other triple in footholds. I've caught quadruples in uh, 330s, but I've caught one other triple, and one of them was in a pocket set. So I'm not considering that a true triple. But oh, another big beaver. None of them look small in here either. Nice big beaver right there. There it was. One. Yeah. There. That kind of a small tail for how big he is. But in case you guys are wondering, I'm on spring break from school this week. So we'll be doing this all week, hopefully. Maybe not this many in a day. Because that might kill me. <laughs> but we'll be rolling. Weed in my face here. That steak in there. Oh. There we go. I can't see my lure on there, so I'm gonna add some more. That trap's pan pen to need to adjust it. That in there. I know this was my lure stick. Man, I can't believe we nailed the triple here. It's awesome. That's really picked up this, this afternoon. Yeah, right when it got really hot outside to where we can both be really sweaty, <laughs> they really started piling. So, see the lodge right over there? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's something. All right. Time to go to contestant number two here. And guys, this spot, just like that last one I showed you, there's these notches. That's what both these these beaver are in is these notches here and man i mean they were climbing out here already and it looks like they didn't like that caster mound very much they smoked that baby oh boy we'll get this pulled up i feel like i'm gonna bring up a gator or something out of here so much water another big beaver Oh man, smoked him by the back foot, right there, I can get his arm here, oh that's a two year old I suppose, yeah, which is still very good, good money beaver this year, this rod ran back into the clay, that's another thing too, very rarely do you find good beaver bridges with perfect dirt and clay to work with, this one is just awesome. 
Having a heck of a day, guys. Wow. That pan tension also needs adjusting. That's definitely the most beaver I've ever seen. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. I told you it looked good before we get, got running. And I was telling you. Just wait, we'll get to the stuff that <laughs> the real you won't stuff. believe. Yeah, we're there. We're here, folks. We are here. I hear a dog barking at me. Oh well. Put that in there. Yeah, that little little cove there is just perfect. Isn't it? Perfect depth too. Yeah, just really funnels them right in there. About four or five inches. Alright. Let's see what's on your door number three. It looks like another big one. I know. We put another mound right up there too. I don't know how many beaver are even in a spot like this. But I know I've said that the last like four locations in a row. <laughs> yeah, you really have. But man, I tell you guys, this is the best. This this five or six location stretch here is some of the best stuff I've ever seen. We just went five traps and five beaver. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. By the front foot, down and out for the count. Another giant. Yeah, that's a toad. Oh. I felt the ground move under my feet. That one, threw that, down. that one's mid to high 50s for sure. Maybe bigger. Now I'm gonna stick with my mid to high 50s. Probably. I'm gonna say we got about 130 pounds of beaver to take out of here. <laughs> so. I got the camera. At least, yeah. You got the camera. <laughs> and moral support. That's right. That's important. Get that hand in there. Something's sitting there. I don't like how that is. Not like that one yet. There's a rock there or something. Oh, I got it. There she goes. Stuck in there. It's kind of a new concept to me. I've never seen anyone hit it like that. What? I've always just put just straight constant pressure no. and weight on it. I ram them. So that's definitely a learning curve for me. I think it helps ramming them like that, especially in the rocks and the gravel. I think it kind of helps it find it. a nook or cranny to get in there. So. Right, yeah, makes sense. Makes perfect sense. I mean, sense. you've seen how rocky the stuff, some of the stuff is today. Just yeah. gonna get it set in there. A lot of brute force and not a lot of brain cells. Story of our lives. Pretty much. <laughs> and I'm gonna be one sweaty guy on the way out of here. But that's all right. Triple boys and girls. Hammering them, buddy. Hammering them. Not a very big one. I don't know. I think it's better than you think it is. Might not be huge, but. Nailed him. Goody. I don't know if I can get this baby out of here. Oh. Oofta. Okay. Nice beaver. Not near as small as I thought. Oh, got lucky on him. Not really. Oh, yeah, more than I thought. Pretty good. So. Yeah. What is that? 34? 34. So we'll get this remade and get down the road, guys. All right, got number 35 down here on the end of this rod. I want to put the other traps in with that. I don't know, I don't, I don't really keep track of them. I just kind of put them, put them around. I've been also using two different lures. And a lot of bridges this year if I'm setting two. It's worth it to get. Oh yeah, that's nice beaver. Nice beaver there. Got him right across the pad. Got a nice one. Slightly bigger than a two-year-old, I'd think. Yeah, that's a good one. Be a darn big two-year-old. Just ran back down to that hole there. There's actually some, 
some fabric, like gardening fabric in here. Really? I'm really glad I had that hammer to chew that away. Wow. There she goes. Okay. It's really hard on a guy's wrist. Yeah, I could see that. But for another one number 35 there we go bud yeah. nothing in that one looks like it all works over there's a beaver there we go look at what they did to that mouth oh, holy cow they did not like you in here no they don't like me anywhere really wow This was not dammed up like this last year. It's actually not even a creek. It's a tile dump. On my map, it doesn't even show up as a creek, so. They really got her held back in here. That's for dang sure. Doesn't show what they can do. But hopefully we can get the other one out of here. I'm sure the farmer's not happy about him being here. As clear as this is, you can probably almost see the den entrance in here. The dens are over uh, along the ditch over there. Gotcha. You got a stick anywhere nearby? Yes, sir. Maybe far enough. Mm. Some thick clay in here. Yeah. That makes getting the bars uneasy. Yeah, it does. They hold good, too. I like the echo down here. But there we go, guys. Number 36. That one. Wow. Not as big. But this thing looks really good. Get down in here. I know it's deep. So you can see the channel I'm talking about, right? Yeah, dude, that's perfect. Through here. Yeah, that says 3.30 all day long. Sure does. Also says next gen going over his hip boots. <laughs> here soon. Yeah, we got... This beaver looks really big. I know I put it in there good too. I think he's got like a pink back foot. I know. It's kind of weird. You can actually see it in the camera pretty good too. I'll try him. Oh, there she comes. Okay. Hopefully I can get it from there. I'm gonna go over my boots. Feel it coming. Yeah, but we're almost done, so it's okay. Yeah. No. Oof. It looks like a monster and a small one, so maybe there's more than just a pair. Yeah, I say so. Boy, whoever put this in here did a dang good job. That would have held an ox. For sure. This looks really big. Maybe. I guess not as big as I thought. I don't think. It's still nice. Big one. one. Can't catch them much better than that there. Nice big beaver. Nope. Not go down there. Here, but toss him up here. I'll hold him. Got him. Oh, he's been working. All that red on his tail. If I remember right, it's a perfect clay and rock combo mix in here. And it is. I just need a little bit further. It's one thing gloves are nice for. They protect your hands. There we go. We'll make that work. My lure stick is no longer here. Um, but all I did was this bank was straight vertical. You can see how I notched it out here like this. And I took all this dirt 
and put it right here. Made a nice perfect bed for this trap. So if you got any cliffs, I mean, you can see I'm right off the bank and it's knee deep water. You can take all that dirt off of there, stack it right in there. Some of these shelves, you gotta turn your trap a little sideways so them levers aren't sticking out. Otherwise they'll flip it. They'll flip your trap on you. That put on there, I just need a, I'll just smear some lure on there. I think I can walk to the other side of that other yes, one? Yes, you can. You just want me to try? <laughs> <laughs> so I that, think, just go to the grass, you should be fine. <laughs> yeah, so that set there is good for another one. We will attempt, see the problem is there's rock and silt in here. It's really hard to tell how far you're going to sink once you get off the rocks. I think if I go through this way. That's what I said. Hit the grass. Looks like another decent beaver. Nothing too good. I'd carry the beaver up. I'm not doing it with the beaver. Such good thick clay in here. And this one's also going to be a battle. Oh, not as bad as the other one. Not near as bad. That's a good one, too. Yeah. Not huge, but. set this set uh, this particular spot here yesterday so it's only a 24 hour definitely smaller than the other one yeah so hopefully there's more to be had we'll find out in the upcoming chest i'm happy with the double here for sure and this side is round there we go stuff down here. such 
a tiny beaver. Yeah, that's a little guy. It's this nice green stick for caster stick here. I actually like that a lot. Number 39, on to the last spot. Well, guys, what a day today. Man, that was an incredible day. Came home with 39 beaver. Uh, by far my personal best. Uh, my personal best before that was 25. So we blew that sucker right out of the water. Awesome, awesome day. Uh, could not, could not have went any better, to be honest with you. It was, it was amazing. Uh, really glad Iowa Trapper ran with me. Uh, he helped me out a bunch. I don't know if I could have done this by myself. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, finally got him up here to ride with me. It was a good time. Good, great time great time a lot of beaver a lot of fun so we're up to 207 guys we'll be after them all week so anyways y'all thanks for watching and until next time